Dude, dude, people don't have business problems. They have personal problems. Your personal life's on fire. Your business life's on fire, okay? Dead business, right, runs from a dead relationship. This is about us just realizing that, look, you guys been together for a year and a half? Dude, listen, it's gonna get ugly. There is gonna be ugly shit coming. It's coming your way. You guys gotta be close so you guys can handle that shit fast and put it to bed. You know, like you just gotta think about it. Like, why aren't you where you should be? It's real simple. The person you're doing life with, you guys aren't growing together. That's the only reason. Dude, dude, people don't have business problems. They have personal problems. Your personal life's on fire. Your business life's on fire. Okay, dead business, right, runs from a dead relationship. And by the way, if you think you're doing good in business and you're making some money, good. Go to the grave with that. You can't take this watch. You can't take none of this shit with you. But you can take the freaking memories that you have with the people that you cared about with you. And by the way, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really, really hard. But only the hardship is rewarding. And most of you in here are entrepreneurs. So like you understand what hardship comes. You understand that grind in the gym gives you a great body. You understand that you don't get that great life without being refined by fire, okay? But you wanna run with this person. So, you know, she's the one who built our whole marriage. I, I don't really, you know, I'm not the, the best at this stuff. She's but it's, told it's, me. It's, it's a together thing because even though one of you can say how you should do things, the other one still has to bite in and you do it together, so. I mean, we built it together. Yeah, and, well, I just want to say, like, but she's she's built and instilled in me these great. I beat his ass a lot, if that counts. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> but but the motherly love deal, I, I didn't have a mom, so when I so all this love that came from her, I was always like, God, this is great. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments, tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Like, I love it. But, but just also, know, like, in order to get that, and yeah, like, it was great. I don't have a mother-in-law to compare myself with because Andy's mom left him when he was three years old. I mean, she was an alcoholic. He never had that motherly figure. So when he met me, it was like, oh my gosh, like, she's great. She's a queen. I nothing to compare it to, nothing to compare me to, which is amazing. But also, there's a the process. Because he didn't have that motherly figure, he also trampled and freaking, yeah, yeah took uh, took on and didn't value women. So before, it was like, dude, like, no, I'm not gonna put up with this shit. Like, whatever you've done, like, I don't care. Like, you're gonna respect me, you're gonna value me, and then I will be that person to you. But it, it goes both ways. So there's, there's good and bad to everything. There's good and bad to everything. To every success, there's always been something, some type of heartache behind it. So yes, I love the fact, I mean, I don't love the fact that he didn't have a mom to raise him that was somebody he can compare me to. That's, that's an amazing thing, but it's also like all the pain that he had when he was a kid has made him, you know, a certain way. But also we had to, you know, basically like soothe those, those things and take care of that pain in one way before it became good. So we can't just expect, expect somebody to just be magically like go through hard life and then, and then be, be good. I always say everybody suffers in life. You're either gonna suffer as a kid and have a shitty childhood, right? Or you're gonna grow up to be an adult and then you're gonna run into something difficult in your life and you're gonna make it a big deal or you're gonna, you're gonna hurt just as much. You're gonna hurt just as much. You're gonna cry about something that maybe, like somebody that went through some pain as a kid, isn't experiencing, you know? But you're still gonna have that pain. So you're gonna choose when you have that pain and how you deal with that pain. So yeah, you can have a really good childhood. You're gonna suffer as an adult because first time you don't get what you want, you're gonna freaking flip out and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt just as much. We both had a childhood. We didn't know, I didn't know what it was like to be affectionate, neither did he. But we had to learn, we had to go through certain things in order to make, and we decided early on, hey, we're, we don't need an example. We can make our own life and we can be who we are. We had nobody to look up to. But all that pain and all that hurt that we felt, you know, and I'm not telling you every single little bit of it because, you know, we're gonna go on to bigger things. Um, all those things molded us to be, you know, who we are now. And we know that that pain is much harder than any pain that any silly fight or anything could happen going, going forward with us. Um, and we don't like feeling that way. So that's why um, we're able to just overcome and just 
make yeah, you do. Yeah, so use your pain to take you to your greatest life. I mean, all the shit you've been through has gotten you primed and ready and prepared to go through what we're gonna go through next. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.